We wake up every day, our soldiers know that we have a mission. You know, we, when we sign and we join and we sign on that dotted line, we understand that, you know, we're gonna be in, in the elements, in the cold, and it, it takes us that sense of pride of being in, in the United States Army, in the Pennsylvania Army National Guard, that that really embraces and, and we take hold of the fact that we get to serve our country. And that's, to me, that keeps morale up again. This is my first one. A lot of these guys are, are just 18, 19 years old. This is their first one too. And that's really cool to be a part of, of just the United States history and to be a part of, of the inauguration. Pennsylvania has about 2,300 soldiers here. Um, of all the National Guard states and the four territories that are participating, there's around 23,000. So all the soldiers that are down here currently, Pennsylvania has 10% of the total force. My unit has been in Washington, D.C. for about a week and a half, doing various checkpoints from the House of Representatives all the way out to the outskirts of the, the, the major capital area. It's been pretty quiet here. It's been calmed down a lot given the events from January 6th and everything. But it's just the presence of us being here, I think, instills a lot more of the safety aspect. I mean, it feels secure, it feels safe here. The National Guard is everywhere, everywhere. Probably seen a few hundred, if not a thousand already since we've been here this morning. We've been planning on coming anyway, and then um, after, after what happened at the Capitol two weeks ago, we decided that we were definitely going to come to uh, just show that, that we're not going to be intimidated by thugs, and, and we're going to support our president no matter what's going on. Everybody's partying, music going, everybody's happy, enjoying themselves, dancing around. We haven't been to another, an inauguration before, um, so we didn't know what to expect. I, I know this is different than most inaugurations, but it's still, it's still really nice to be here and be part of everything going on. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute. Hope brought me here. We're just so glad that we, it's over and that a new administration is coming in. It's a day for celebration. We finally did it. I mean, this is a fight that I've been fighting since 2007, like 16, 17, that we have a president who is actually gonna listen to science, who is going to listen to the people, and who is going to actually unite our country in a way that hasn't been for the past four years. Today, on this January day, my whole soul is in this. Bringing America together, uniting our people, uniting our nation. And I ask every American to join me in this cause. It's amazing, and so it really is like a moment to see. So I definitely wanted to be here for that.